Hello, and welcome to Vocabulary Wednesday. And I am incog... Oops, wrong word. I am incognito. There we go. What does incognito possibly mean? Incognito means I am in disguise. And I want to avoid detection. So sometimes like celebrities, when they go out, they put on big sunglasses and hats like that. Not saying I'm a celebrity, of course. And they don't want to be recognized. Notice, recognize, cogna, to notice. So in, the opposite, no one can recognize you. So that's our first in word of the day. What other word is in fashion? Inept. Oops, I dropped the board. Oops, I dropped the board. Doing that on purpose to show you what an inept person would do. Someone who is inept is unskilled. They are bungling. They drop things. They are clumsy. Now, good way to remember this word is if you know the word adept, that means skillful. This word is the opposite. So both have ept in it. One has in, opposite of at. That's actually not the root story in that case, but it's a good mnemonic. Next, insight. What does insight mean? Well, insight is not the same as insight, S-I-G-H-T, which means to have an understanding or deep understanding of things. To insight is to stir up and provoke, usually violence, usually in large groups is the context. So violence is incited. For instance, during the World Cup, when some teams lost and there was a controversial referee call, some of the fans were incited to go riot and scream in their grievances. So insight, again, is cause, provoke, usually riots and other large-scale violences. Finally, final inward of the day, inkling. It's a cute little word. I'm a little inkling. But an inkling is actually a slight suspicion, a, a hint or that something is going to happen. Hmm. I have a feeling that. So that feeling is an inkling. And as I sit here hovering above this word, the fumes coming to my nose. I have an inkling that this is not good for my brain. Inkling, get an ink, inkling. Okay, anyway, I'll see you next week. Same place, same time. And hopefully without the crazy ghetto.